Hey guys, welcome to my hospital bag video. I can't believe I am filming this. This is kind of crazy. I've watched quite a few of these, but I actually am the one that needs to pack the hospital bag this time, which feels really surreal. So right now I am 35 weeks and I decided to film this hospital bag video um, so that I don't need to worry about packing the bag in the next couple of weeks and you know you just never know when this baby will come so first of all this is an Australian version of what I'm packing in my hospital bag and I found that in the US it seems that the hospital provides a lot a lot a lot of stuff um, and that's not the case here but then again our fees are different and stuff like that so just a word of warning I have not been uh, minimalistic when packing this bag I've definitely overpacked than underpacked the other thing is because we're still in the middle of a pandemic we have to stay there the whole time and Phil's not well if he leaves he can only come back as a visitor for two hours a day so um, we're going to be there for at least five days so we're packing for the full five days as if we're not leaving and we don't know if restrictions will change but um, that's what I've packed for so I've definitely packed a lot so yes I'm going to try and do this in order of sequence so the first thing is this TENS machine. Now I had never even heard of a TENS machine um, until my friend mentioned it. She said that it really helped her with her labor uh, because basically, um, so you, I don't know too much about it to be honest and I haven't even tried it yet. I will make sure that I know how to use it before I go into labor. But basically it's like a machine that you sort of attach onto yourself and it sends electric waves or something. and you basically focus on that rather than the pain of the contractions. I think that's what it is. Like I said, I don't know too much about it, but because she had it, I thought I will grab it. So this is apparently good for early labor, you know, and it helps you while you're laboring at home before you go into the hospital. So I've got that. Now I've packed everything into compartments. So they're either in storage bags or plastic bags so that Everything is in its own place and it's easy if Phil, my husband, needs to grab something for me. Everything is categorized. So this bag here is labeled labor. So I've used the IKEA Ziploc bags, which are really useful. They come in all different sizes. So in my labor bag, the idea is that once we're in hospital and we're checked into our room, this is the stuff that I'll want. So I have a robe. Um, this is an old rope, which I was actually ready to donate, but turns out that it comes in handy when you need to pack a hospital bag. So I found that while I was packing my hospital bag that a lot of things I can't really pack yet because I'm using day to day. So it really helps if you've got some old things lying around. So maybe if you're planning to do a spring clean, don't go throw out everything just yet. I also have this really loose dress. So it's going to be summer or close to summer. And I've got this really loose dress that I am planning to labor in. It's really comfortable. And also um, afterwards, if we do skin to skin, it's just really easy to just pull down. Next up, I have just some rubber thongs. So just some thongs to wear in the hospital. I also have some slippers. So these are the disposable type slippers that you can get from Daiso. And yeah, so basically I'll wear that the entire time and then throw it out at the end of the hospital stay. And I've heard that while you're in labor, your feet can get cold. I don't think that's going to happen to me because I am someone that gets hot really easily and it's also going into summer anyway. So um, I just bought a pair of socks but I don't think I'm going to use them. But like I said, I've overpacked rather than underpacked. So that's everything in my labor bag. Now on to the fun part of this video and it is the snacks. And yes, I know this looks really excessive but it's only because it's not 
like all packed away properly and yes maybe it is a bit excessive but keep in mind we are going to be there for at least five nights so the first thing is this cup so this um i've just heard from other people that it's good to have a cup where you can drink cold water with a straw this one's a bendy one so it's easier to drink um, while you're sort of laying down um, and it's also got a lid so hopefully not too um, easy to spill any water so this is what I mean when I said I've overpacked rather than underpacked I have a range of healthy snacks or healthier snacks so we've got some veggie crisps these are sweet potato and purple potato. I've had these before and they're pretty good. Also got these cookies. So these are chocolate chip cookies. So they're from one of my favorite health stores called Terra Madre. Actually, all of these snacks are. Um, and they're really, really good. They do not taste like they're healthier at all. They're definitely not a healthy cookie, but they're a healthier cookie. Also got some spelt and cheese crackers. Also got some freeze-dried apple and I've got a bunch of bars. So I've got this blue dinosaur cacao mint bar, um, apple cinnamon protein bar, a chia cacao brownie bar and a gingerbread and hemp seed bar. And finally I have these Nutty Bruce peanut butter and cacao protein balls. So that's all the snacks. So that should keep me going. Finally, I do have a packet of Ural, and obviously this is not a snack, but I have heard from people on forums that if you take this after labor, it helps um, take the acidity out of your urine so that when you go and pee, it doesn't burn so much. So I am definitely trying to do everything I can to minimize the pain. So I'll put that in my snack bag to remind myself. So moving on to electronics. So obviously we're going to be bringing the vlogging camera. I haven't really decided if there's going to be a birth vlog. I kind of want a birth vlog, but then I don't know if I'll feel funny about it or I don't know, but we're gonna bring the vlogging camera and just a little stand for it. And Phil will probably bring his um, nicer camera as well. And I've also got my AirPods um, for in between. I've also got a power bank so we can both easily charge our phones. And I don't have it with me, but we also plan to bring a portable speaker so we can put on some music, the charger for that, as well as a laptop in case there's some downtime in between and we wanna watch stuff or, you know, whatever. It's good to have options. All right, so now we move on to postpartum. Now, hopefully my labor is not going to be too painful, but you know, this is reality. We'll see how we go. So I have tried to do everything I can to minimize pain afterwards. I have a very low pain threshold and um, I would just like to know that I am as prepared as possible. So I have a packet of adult nappies. So these are not for postpartum specifically. They are for women that um, have issues with, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Incont incontinence? Inc incontinence issues? I don't know what the word is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But I have read in the reviews that these are really good for postpartum. And I like the idea of not having to wear underwear as well as worry about a pad. And then if I'm bleeding a lot, it might go everywhere. And you know, us women, we know how much of a hassle that is. So I've got that. I've also got the regular um, maternity pads as well for when I do move on to those. And this is my postpartum bag. So the idea is I can just say to Phil, go grab the postpartum bag and he can just easily grab it. So I have some disposable underwear and I've heard from a lot of people that this is really good. Apparently, even though it's disposable, 
It says on the box that you can actually wash it up to 20 times. So I've only got four pairs of these. So that's what they look like. They're super stretchy. They're not sexy or anything like that, but you know, there's nothing, there's nothing sexy about postpartum. I also have this Perry bottle. So I have heard and seen from other videos that I've watched that this helps once you go to the toilet. Um, obviously you're not gonna wipe because it's going to really hurt down there. So instead you fill this with water and you just, um, press it and then the water comes out and that's how you clean yourself so hopefully this comes in handy similarly I also have these flushable wipes because once again I've heard that these are really good because once again everything hurts down there after you've had a baby and so these just make it easier for you to clean yourself and every American hospital bag video mentions these tux pads and they're not available here in Australia but I bought these off iHerb and actually I haven't even opened these yet these are oh, okay it's still sealed I'm not going to open it so they're specifically for hemorrhoids um, they're medicated cooling pads but apparently they also provide relief if you put them on your underwear on your pad it provides some relief from the tearing I believe I know that everyone in America also gets dermoplast I think that's what it is and it's that spray where you spray yourself down there and it also gives yourself some relief but we don't have that here and if I was to purchase that I would have paid a ridiculous amount of money for getting it from overseas so I didn't end up getting it I asked my doctor about it and he said that it doesn't really work and that if it, if it did work we would have it here I don't know I just don't have that so hopefully it'll be okay and then I have some breast pads or nursing pads and Rather than bring the whole box, which was a box of 50, I've just packed some into this smaller IKEA bag. And in case I need it, I've got these hydrogel breast discs. And I also have this nipple cream, which apparently this one is really good. This is the Lansono nipple cream. So that's everything in my postpartum bag. And moving on to the clothes and stuff that I'm going to bring. So first of all, I've got a bunch of plastic bags, which will be just for day clothes and underwear, etc. And next I have a bunch of these nursing bras. So I've got these ones because they look really comfortable and they are really comfortable for sleeping in. Um, these ones don't have a strap at the back, so you have to actually like pull it over yourself to wear it. So I have heard that it can be annoying to wear that while you're laboring because at the end when they want to do skin to skin, it's hard to get your whole bra off. So I won't be wearing that during labor. I'll be wearing a different nursing bra, um, but those ones will be good for sleeping in. Otherwise, I also have this nursing singlet. So this has an inbuilt bra, which I can also sleep in as well. I also have these maternity underwear. By the way, this is all from Kmart and I swear it's all so comfortable and I have just loved this maternity underwear from Kmart. It has just been life changing for me. It's so, so comfortable. I feel like I won't be able to go back to normal underwear after this, but I'm going to pack a bunch of these and I also want to get some granny undies as well that sort of come right up to just sort of hold myself in afterwards because I have heard that afterwards you feel like quite jiggly and weird and that it's good to have some granny undies that actually go right up so I will get some of those as well so that's all the undergarments I'm bringing and then in terms of clothes um, it's all really simple I've got it in this cube and these are really handy we get um, these from Daiso and you can get them in different sizes so basically I have a bunch of shorts, so these are a pair of shorts I got from Kmart in a size up just so that it would be a bit more comfortable for me and I've got some PJ shorts which are really loose and I can wear them under the bump um, as well and then I've got some nursing singlets. 
So these um, have the buttons so it's easy to nurse in. These ones I just got from Boohoo. Now in case it's a bit cold in the hospital, I also have this long sleeve pyjama set. Um, so it's long sleeve top but it's um, shorts in the bottom. So these are the matching shorts. I also have this nursing tee as well, which I got this from Ripe. And in case it's cold, I do have this long sleeve with buttons, which will be easy to nurse in as well. Also got this matching, um, this matching set from Cotton On. I got this in a size up because obviously I won't be snapping back to my original size. Um, so I just got this in a size up. It's not maternity, but I can easily just slip this off and nurse in it. And once again, in case it's cold, this is Melbourne. We just don't know what the weather's gonna be like, even though it's summer. Um, I do have this loose bonds zip up that I can just chuck over anything. And I'm also gonna pack or wear a pair of trackies in. Okay, so in terms of makeup and toiletries, I do plan on bringing my regular makeup. Like I said, I'm gonna be there for five days. And my normal makeup routine isn't extensive anyway. I am thinking that during labor, I'll probably just have some concealer and eyebrows on and hopefully get time to style my hair and that'll be it. Um, but I am going to bring my regular makeup. I also have a headband so that I can get my hair out of my face if I want to and I also have packed a little mirror so that I can easily do my makeup while I'm sitting in bed. I've also got some lip balm because that appears to be very important and I do, I mean I always bring lip balm with me everywhere anyway but in case I forget it for some reason I've got a spare one. And the rest is just like the usual normal makeup stuff. I also want to bring my curler. Um, I find it really easy to curl my hair. Um, that's not how I've done my hair today. But with this, I can curl my hair really quickly in like less than 10 minutes. So I will be bringing this. And some of you guys might think I'm being excessive. But like I said, I'd just rather have it than not. I also have a heat mat to go with it and I swear it is such a handy thing uh, everywhere I go traveling I always bring this because it means that you can be any way you like and style your hair because you know obviously if you're just sit not that I'll be sitting on the floor but let's just say in a hotel room I'm sitting on the floor and it's carpet I can't just put my curler down I need something to put it on so this just means that I can curl my hair anywhere and easily put my curler down. So I bring this everywhere. And I also have my toiletries bag. Once again, it will be my usual toiletries. The main things is um, dry shampoo because I don't like washing my hair too often. Um, I will be bringing shampoo and conditioner because I probably can't go the whole time without washing my hair. I do have an eye mask. Um, I don't know if I'll use it, but I've heard that, you know, it might come in handy. And then the rest is just normal toiletry stuff. Oh, as well as a shower cap. All right, the final stuff is all for the baby. And the first thing is this boppy breastfeeding pillow. I know that some of you guys think that I might be being excessive with this, but I'm just going to bring it anyway because I can. I'm not going to be bringing it in this case. I realize that this is... Just a pretty case that's probably going to get dirty very quickly. Um, I do have a different case, which is waterproof or water resistant um, that I'm going to be bringing instead. I also have these milestone cards because yes, I'm one of those people that I'm thinking about that first photo we're going to take and share with everyone. And we do have a matching beanie and swaddle set, which will put him in as well, but I'm not going to show you guys because that's a surprise. And then I've got two other options for swaddles. So I've got this muslin one and this is the Aiden and Anai. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's really nice and soft and I've got this um, pure baby wrap as well. Then in terms of clothes, all his clothes are in here. In case I go early or in case he's really small, which 
I don't think he'll be really small because the doctor keeps saying he's just growing at an average rate. But in case that happens, I do have these Premi little clothes that I have that were given to me. Um, they were hand-me-downs from other people. So I thought I might as well pack that in the hospital bag in case I do need it. And they're in a separate bag so that they're just easily accessible and they're separate to everything else. And then I've basically packed um, six singlets and six um, body suits. So I have these cute little Bond singlets and I have these Bonds wonder suits. So these wonder suits you might know already that they have um, the hands, I don't know what you call it, like the inbuilt mittens so you can turn them over and the inbuilt socks. So I'm not actually bringing any mittens or socks. I have heard that the Bonds wonder suits are quite big in sizing, um, whereas the pure baby ones are quite small. So I do have a couple of pure baby ones as well in case he is born and he's a little bit small. And pure, these ones are also the same. They have the inbuilt hands and feet. I also have a few beanies as well. They're all just in neutral colors. So that's his little cube there and I've made sure to use a different color in his cube just to make it really easy for Phil to grab. And I also have my nappy bag packed. So this is an insert from the Nappy Society. So you can basically use this insert and put it in any other bag that you've got and then uh, rather than using a nappy bag um, that's got all the inserts and stuff already you can basically just insert this into any bag you like as long as it fits in so i've got that and i plan to bring this bag in with me to the hospital so this will just have my normal stuff in it and it actually expands as well so when it is expanded you can actually fit this right inside so in terms of what i've got in here it's just the usual nappy bag stuff i can't believe i've got a nappy bag that is so funny so i've got these um these are cloth nappy inserts which i watched another video and saw that they can be quite handy to use as burp cloths because they're really absorbent and i have just a few newborn nappies because that's one thing that the hospital does provide during your stay, but then obviously you you might need some for the day of discharge. So I've got that. I've also got water wipes. I've got heaps of those stocked up on those. I've also got a spare singlet and wonder suit, which I plan to always have a spare outfit in there. I've also got some nappy rash cream and some scented nappy bags as well. So that's all I've got in my nappy bag at the moment. Obviously this is just for going home in, so we won't need too much stuff or we might not even need any of this stuff. And that is basically everything that I am packing in my hospital bag. So a lot of you guys might be thinking that I have totally overkilled this and I probably have but I like to be overprepared than underprepared. Let me know if I've missed anything though, or let me know if you've got any further tips because I would love to hear them. So leave me a comment down below. Also, if you haven't watched our IVF journey video and you're interested in watching that, that's also linked down below. I also have a video on uh, my tips on getting through IVF, if that is a journey that you're going through as well. And if you do have any questions about that, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I also have a nursery tour as well, which I am sitting in and I am obsessed with this nursery. I've said it so many times. I'm so happy with it. It's my nursery dreams come true. So watch that if you haven't already seen it as well. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more baby content, I would totally love to do some more baby content and vlog our baby when he's in this world. So definitely give it a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.